Welcome to a video from thisislifestyle.com. Two Windows 11 builds to look at in this video. Uh, one for the Canary and one for the Dev channel. Uh, so let's start off with the Canary one. Microsoft don't always publish all the details with the Canary one. They have pro uh, a couple of uh, notes with this one, so I'll just briefly mention those. So this is the uh, Canary build. Uh, this is the Canary build. This one, and this is two five three three six. And there's just a couple of things with this. They've improved some performance within settings. So when you go into settings, it should be a bit quicker when you're searching for something like mouse control or something like that. So you can type mouse and then it brings up the settings like that. You're not going to be probably able to tell much difference on this virtual machine, but that's what they said. Um, if you've got two or more discrete graphic adapters, uh, and with no integrated graphics, you can now choose which one is considered the high performance one. This is a virtual machine, so I can't show you that. But so if you've got two NVIDIA or, uh, graphics adapters, you can choose which one you'd like to be designated as, as the high performing one. And uh, a limit of uh, 20 most recent tabs has been introduced under multitasking settings. That was in the build last week. So those are the, the changes. There are no known issues that, that they're uh, talking about anyway the other build we can look at is um, the dev channel build and this is 23430 for uh, Windows inside on the dev channel so I've got do not disturb on right so I'm just going to start a countdown on here because I want to show you one of the notifications that pops up in a moment so um, not a huge amount of changes to this but there is something new on the notifications which I'll show you in a second Okay, so what's been changed in this build? Um, the a limit of the 20 most recent tabs that we saw on the other build, that's been on this one. Ah, and there was the other one I wanted to throw. This is a example of a notification when you've got do not disturb on, but you've got a priority message come through. So like uh, the clock uh, notifications. Um, you've got a... Uh, this is what the, the notification will look like and if, if there's something to view you can do uh, view on there or in this case it's just a dismiss so that's a slight change in the in the uh, in the UI on that um, the rest of the changes are, uh, are fairly minor. there is one thing the can control uh, content adaptive brightness control which was talked about in the last few builds has to be enabled by the OEM um, so if you've not got that that's why that's not showing up okay so fixes we've got some fixes uh, where explore exe would crash we've got some fixes with the touch keyboard we've got some fixes with task manager i haven't seen any of these issues so far actually so it's been it's been working fine with me there are still some known issues with this book uh, with this um, build you might see the search box um not displaying correctly i haven't had that issue till my search box is working fine you might see a file explorer issue and on armed devices there are some uh, live caption issues but those are the main changes with the, with these builds there's not a huge amount i'm hoping we'll get some more interesting ui type stuff soon but those are the two builds the canary and the dev build you can find out more on the lifestyle.com as more new features get uh, released i'll be able to talk about that on the build you can follow me on twitter at isdixon thanks for watching